yeah, he likes some chips Andy Hubert, he likes chippies too But there's one man, no chip he won't devour He's the king of all chips, he has all the power That's my man, he's Andy Moldenhauer Cause Andy loves chips, Andy loves chips, so oh, yeah How did uh, The Rock know that, or how did Dwayne Johnson know that he had COVID? Nobody could smell what he was cooking. No, no, it's so everyone. Or he else couldn't smell. No, sorry, he couldn't <laughs> smell what anyone was cooking. He couldn't That's smell what it was supposed to be. F- cooking. I have a joke that Ooh. came up with recently. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's workshop it. What what do uh, what do me and a basketball court have in common? <sighs> Nothing. We're both sporting hardwood. Hey. It's, it's a boner joke. <laughs> I think that joke's going to work regardless. <laughs> anyway. I tell that one all the time. That, that joke is just, yeah. It doesn't need any workshop in AD. <laughs> I think oh, that's good to go. Get out of here. I assume, yeah. I assume we need a work on this. <laughs> no, it's good. Nope. You're good. <laughs> you nailed it on the first take, first try. So I have a new dining experience that I've been going Ooh. through. I went to a revolving sushi restaurant. Oh, oh I've gone to one of these I've in Troy. In Troy. You yeah. went to the same one I went to. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I loved it a lot. It was a good time. It was fun. Lunch was get, better than dinner. I don't did know you get a went. toy? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Did you go during lunch or dinner? Dinner. I felt like lunch was better. Why? Uh, I thought the food was fresher. What? It was different. It was cheaper, too. It was like 50 You've cents less a plate. You've done lunch and dinner? I've done both. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. yep. Hmm. It was cheaper, you said? It was 50 cents less a plate, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two seventy five oh. instead of three twenty five. That might be worth it. Yeah, and I, I feel like it was fresher. I feel like the food was fresher. The food tastes pretty fresh to me. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have any problems with that, but my bill was like, I ate that much. Okay. <laughs> 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 it was like charge it. You're like, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> but it's just one of those things you see on like the internet. It's like I wish that would have here. I wish I could go to one of these places. And now it, was, it is here. It was nice. super fun. I'll have to try that. Go to it. You have a they date didn't night. Have any? Um, the wait list is very long. You have to download the app. Right. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting an hour. Good to know. Good to know. Right. But if you put your wait list in, get then, in the digital queue. Yeah, get in the digital queue and then leave like when it's close to time. Yeah, I highly recommend it. It's a fun night. It's that's, a fun date night. That's exactly how I've done it before. Mm. Yeah, you have to like literally be like, okay, I'm going to put in my thing and we're going to eat in like an mm. hour and a half. Okay. <laughs> I'm not usually a resi boy, but in this place, you got to be a resi boy. Reservations are nice. Mm-hmm, Makes it mm-hmm. a little bit easier, especially with if you got COVID. A big party. If you got a big party coming. With COVID, too. you kind of have to. Yeah, to call well, ahead because they're yeah. short staffed anyway. Short staffed in some places still aren't full capacity, so they, you just can't fit as many people in there now. Yeah. And so, yeah, there's lines all over the place. I feel like places would be better off to like limiting their menus to certain things. I agree. So places, that'd be like easier. For some them. places are doing that not because they want to, but they're like lacking the food. Chains has been totally yeah. Like, KFC, high stops. The KFC high stop. took tenders off their menu for well, a while. Chicken, Ooh, yeah. There's like a there's a chicken shortage. Yeah. The wings. Well, no, there's no wings anymore. That's a that's a conspiracy. There's not a wow. chicken shortage. There's there are four there's main an overload. chicken there's suppliers, a surplus. and they're working together doing, to artificially inflate the price of chicken. Big chicken. I can, I can buy that. And yeah. right now, actually, Big chicken. Um, the White House is like going after them apparently, and saying that they're inflating the prices of chicken, and they're they're not necessarily going after them, but they're investing money in other companies that could be other uh, chicken chicken yeah. suppliers. Mm. Yeah, interesting. So do we? Do I not eat chicken? What am I supposed to do? Well, no. I mean, if you're buying chicken, it's, buy? you're gonna be buying from like Tyson yep. or. Mm-hmm. How um, do I not buy from those places? What do I gotta get? Do I gotta go to a butcher. Yeah, uh, it's hard. To, it's hard to say where you can go. But, you know, yeah, you I mean, go directly to the farm. Apparently, right? Because I mean, so my own much chicken. of it is sourced from there, regardless of who you go to. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, there are farms though in the area. Go to a farm, farmers market. Farmers market. market. Yeah, do they have chicken. Live chickens there? Oh, they do have some. They some do. Sometimes. sometimes they have meat they sellers. Might. Yeah, they yeah. do have meat sellers. More likely have veggies and stuff. Yeah, I, I was at one. They had. I don't think they had. They maybe had chicken, but they definitely had beef. Yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna be paying a little bit more, but um, probably tastes better. Probably worth it. Yeah. Probably tastes great. Yeah, yeah. But that's uh, yeah, because there is like a chicken issue. Any of like these wing stop or thigh stop? Um, They're renaming it the thigh stop because they don't have any they wings said? anymore. Yeah. Yep. Well, if you look at the that's marketing, it, because they don't have it's, there's like a, a board a board over the wings and it says thigh like written in marker. <laughs> 
That's I'm not joking. Yeah. <laughs> they paid their marketing team to do that. Mm-hmm. They're trying to sell thighs. Wait, it actually looks yeah. like that on the side? Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to, yeah. <laughs> yes, this I'll, is like I'll the Borat DVD. I mean, they should anyway. <laughs> thighs are tastier. Thighs are tastier. I love a thigh. Well, wings are great too, but thighs are oh, great. Yeah, I love wings. Don't get me wrong. Thighs are really good. You can even go to thighstop.com. They're trying to make you to go to thigh stop. They replaced like all their marketing with thighs. <laughs> It's like, uh, is that um, an abstinence program? <laughs> <laughs> see, it's like they covered up the wings with a thigh. I see. I see. <laughs> That's an abstinence program. I was, trying right? to think of, I was trying to think of a joke of like who was <laughs> squatting on that domain before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it. Yeah. It uh, had a very inappropriate <laughs> it's content it's before. <laughs> that thigh stop. <laughs> You can go past the knee, but the top of the thigh. Ah, that's too high. <laughs> what if I'm going from this way? That's not what we're interested in. We're interested in the thighs. If I'm going from this up. way, I'll stop at the thigh. I don't know. Go that way. Well, yeah. well I can go both ways. Uh, <laughs> oh, hard to say. <laughs> Where does the thigh end? Where does it start? In the, in the wing begin. <laughs> <laughs> I know where the hardwood begins. Oh, bringing it back. Man, it would have been really perfect if we had some sort of wing-themed chip tonight. You know I (laughs) had. You can never plan it. What a spoiler. Here we go. You can never plan it like this, ever. You didn't know. I didn't know. (laughs) Wait, what? (laughs) You didn't know. God damn it, Brad. You're a genius. I know. You steer us into this in the perfect segue. (laughs) I incepted you. God dang it. You nailed it. I incepted you. Oh, son. These look good already. Oh my god! Okay, all right. Street. To be fair, nobody actually knew that. No, I, <laughs> don't. Were, I don't tell anybody gen- what the chips are. We genuinely, no idea. <laughs> I didn't know we were wow. going this way, and I'm glad we did. <laughs> all right. Like, as far as I'm aware, like there's very little planning that goes into our chips, because the banter feels very unscripted. Uh, until Brad incepts us all, mm-hmm, and, just, mm-hmm. he, and he crushes it, man! Yeah. Wow, I've been, I've been doing it a long wow. time. I've gaslit this whole podcast. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. Speaking of gaslit, here's some <laughs> gas flavor chips. <laughs> all right. Well, this is uh, what our second time doing double crunch ruffles. Oh, I think mm. you're right. I think we have done a double. We've crunch done before. we've done double crunch once before, I believe. Yeah. I just yeah. don't know what that was. No, no. But this is a Ruffles Double Crunch, double which is crunch. two times the crunch. Two times. And it's hot wing flavor. Hot wings. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Oh, yeah. Hot wings are all Like the buffalo? Range. I think hot wing, baby. I'm assuming hot. Like I want it to be like Tabasco. Like, Tabasco? like Frank's yeah. Red Hot. Is Frank's what Red I was Hot. Yeah. Frank's Red? I think, yeah. wants, I think it's a hot sauce. Just hot classic wing hot wings. Sauce, baby. Oh, my gosh. I love hot wings. Man, there's like barely any copy on here. And I, I haven't had a ruffle in a while. The last time I had one was on this show, so whenever that was, the last mm. time I had one. Well, we ruffles haven't been here in a in a long while. Yeah, it's been a while. What? So the Although ruffles, all ruffles dress has up. the ridges. They do, and, and they, have the all, are, they have the all dress chips. Oh yeah, they do. You don't like those? I don't like those. They're the best though. They're the, so good. They're like tangy. It's like a weird tangy. They are all like dressed, Andy. <laughs> dressed with what? They weren't wearing with anything. <laughs> Do you want to read the copy, Andy? I'll read what, it, what we got here. We got this here. There's a little bit of copy. A little bit. It's kind of broken up a bit here. Not not condu- conducive to the nice uh, background music Brad usually throws in uh, for these, but uh, deep cut ruffles ridges, kettle cooked to crispy, crunchy perfection with the spicy, tangy flavor of classic hot wings. So yeah, just hot wings. Spicy, tangy What does flavor. kettle cooked even mean? Cooked in a kettle, literally. Kettle chips. In an actual kettle? Mm-hmm. Well, like, yeah, kettle corn. Okay. And that kind of thing. Oh, it's, okay. I forgot, you don't like popcorn. You wouldn't Castor? Even know. You wouldn't even know what kettle corn is. <laughs> so, the double crunch, is that just like a thicker thicker chip? It looks thicker. Yeah. I think the, the oh, waves... I mean, look at how big The ridges are looks. bigger. Mm-hmm, it just looks mm-hmm. like... Thick. Yeah, two C's. <laughs> Maybe two three C's. C's. Three C's. It's a PepsiCo product, Ruffles. Yeah. by Pepsi. That's some diversification. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to eat these uh, within the next month because they're going to expire by that time, and we're way ahead. For, some yeah. reason, for, for some, once, we're, we're doing way well. ahead. We're doing well. For we're some reason, good. I have a hunch that those chips aren't going to last the night. No. <laughs> Probably not. The Ruffles bag is deceiving because you think there's like a full big old yeah. bag of chips in there. Yeah. Oh, but it's a there's, halfway. There's not. I was, I, not. I'm I was literally right here. just yesterday reading an article about chipspiracies 
back to like, like episode genuinely one. conspiracies, which included when it, I don't think it was Ruffles, but someone introduced. They didn't cite us, did they? No. Okay, good. But they did. They should have though. One of the companies introduced the the longer party bag, and it was like for Ooh. individuals. But it, and so it's like twice as I long know where individual this is going. bags, and it literally had less net weight. It was a bigger bag with oh less chips than a regular bag in it. I, I literally gasped. It was like, god. how dare they? Oh my god! What do they weigh? So they got two different bags. They listed and, right on the bag. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god! It what? was like half an ounce of less of chips than the regular bag, even though they're like they should have got two twice bags. as big a bag, and they're like, yeah, and nothing else. <laughs> it's insane. It's just extra bag. Little sons of bitches. Well, maybe that's what they're asking for is the just a bigger bag, right? Yeah, maybe someone's like, you know, we're, we're lying. I don't have enough bag here. My they're going to keep shrinking it and shrinking I open it, it and shrinking it. And my chips it. just keep falling out everywhere. I need more bag. Until everything's just that small bag. And we're paying full price for a small, small bag. Ooh, small for the bag? little mini 25 cent bag small that bag. used to be 25 cents back in the day. What? You never remember? That was what like the, the Lay's or whatever, Fritos. There used to be a, like a quarter chip bag. Those those bags used to cost a quarter. Oh, they, they were okay. twenty five cents. Like what the did kinds you call of, them a swall bag. Small, small. Oh, a small. <laughs> I heard swall as well. So. Swall. I was like, wow, there was a swall bag. Like that's I didn't. This is a whole thing I didn't even know about. So guys, the swall bag conspiracy. I <laughs> I literally heard swall. I might have said it just I screwed it up. That's so good. I lost saliva in my mouth. I like that this is this is our generation's back in my day. Gum used to be a nickel. Yeah, but it's Brad going back in my day. Chips were twenty five cents. They were a quarter. Yeah. Jolly Ranchers were a nickel. <laughs> Bubblicious. Not Bubblicious. Bazooka, Bazooka Joe. Bazooka Joe, five cents. Nickel. There you go. God. Bazooka Joe. You have a quarter? You, you don't want five Bazooka candies Joe. with a quarter. <laughs> Bazooka Joe, and they give you a comic. That's value. You get five candies or you get a bag of chips with Make a quarter. Make you laugh. It's your choice. <laughs> we ready to get into these? Um, One second. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So I, don't, I think I've told the Ruffles story before. Okay. But the first time I had these chips, the Ruffles... They were so <coughs> new to me. I'd only ever probably had like Lay's or Better Made. Mm. And I, for the like longest time, it was like you eat French onion dip or you just dip yep. a chip and it breaks and it breaks and it breaks. Suddenly the ruffles come along. My chip isn't breaking in the dip. <laughs> it's surviving the dip. <laughs> ruffles <laughs> figured it out. Oh yeah. Maybe the two time the crunch will we'll see more solid chips in this bag. Let's get yeah. down with the thickness. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta get, get up. up. Get up get down with the thickness. <laughs> get up, come on, get down with the thickness. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, careful, it's oh, gonna clear your sinuses. Smells good. Give me some, give me some. Uh, are they, are some. they as bright red as the cover would indicate? No, not as, no, not as. no, no, no. They look like a barbecue, like a barbecue, barbecue. chip. Yeah. They have a barbecue chip color. Very good, very good. Oh yeah, is it good? The crunch. I don't. They don't look as doubly as I thought they were. Yeah, not as not as thick as they kind of imply in the this image. Is one C. They're thick. definitely thicker, but yeah. they're, not, they're not like definitely not broken though. There's a lot of shapely chips here. Ooh, Ooh. look at this. Look at that guy. That's, that's a good guy. Yeah. I mean, these seem to good. have survived being in the bag better than many chips do. So I'm telling you, Ruffles figured it out. They yeah, did. Man. We're gonna touch these chips. We they won't break. It. They will not break. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> No breakage. Wow. <laughs> Three, Quality. two, what? Very crunchy. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. 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 Oh, that's tangy. It is tangy. Ooh. Are you getting any wing? I'm getting the hot. I'm getting the hot. Are you getting a wing? I don't know. Mm. We've had a lot of really good chicken chips on the show, and I'm not getting the chicken here. Yeah. You're not wrong. I wonder I, if they were going have, for the chicken. Might I see it? We might have to check these ingredients. <clears throat> Something called hot wing seasoning <laughs> is pulling a lot of the work. There is chicken fat in this. Okay. Chicken broth, chicken powder. There is they there are chicken related they things inside of here. Maybe the hot well, sauce just drowned it out, but it might be. I get it, but we've had like the natural hot chicken we had was that tasted really good, like chicken. We just had These one a few good. episodes ago that was something chicken that was the same way. That one actually tastes like chicken too. Mm -hmm. I think I would like these just to say hot sauce chips. Mm. Maybe maybe yeah, give up the chicken. Hot chips. Maybe give up the chicken. 
Yeah, we don't need it. And they're not. I will say it's not like a just a straight Frank's Red Hot kind of flavor sauce. It is tangy. It's spicy, but yeah, it's not Frank's. It's not Frank's. <clears throat> which no. I kind of like. It's it's its own thing. I like Frank's too. Don't get me wrong. But. Oh, I love all hot sauces. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, people are very particular about like I never eat Tabasco or Tabasco's Frank's. Great. I'll, throw it on, I'll throw all of them on. Yeah, whatever. they're all good. I, care, yeah. I only eat Cholula or Tapatio. It's like yeah, they're all good. Don't to know. be honest, actually, um, that is it. Cholula? Yeah, I think Cholula. I'm not sure. I really like that one. Or what's that one that starts with a V? Valentina. That one I really don't like. No. You that's think you I, got burned out on it? Because well, your roommate had like a giant jar of it all the time. Yeah, I, it was like it's got a weird taste to me that just hmm, not quite my type type of hot sauce. But Frank's is really good. Tabasco's great. I love a Frank's or just Tabasco. I like. I have to have that on hand. I used to do Tabasco on everything. That was a little like bit of Tabasco thing. on eggs. Then I, I got like the smoky mm-hmm. Chipotle Tabasco. That stuff's amazing. I used to do that on Ooh. everything. But... Wow. Hmm. Kind of over sriracha, I guess, but uh, that's still one that has I burned out on early. I yeah. I loved sriracha, and I used to put it on everything, and now I keep a small it's bottle. Too strong, yeah, I have it, and I do like to add it sometimes. Like I'll add it two eggs while I'm cooking them. I don't put it on them afterwards. Yeah, though. good in Asian dishes is where I usually yeah. do it. Mm-hmm. I'll add them to a sauce, but I won't put it on something just to add it to something. And I'm kind of sad. I I mean, I love sriracha. I would throw that on all sorts of stuff for a while, but at one point I just got burned out on it. This might Don't be the most sad. amount of chips we've eaten collectively, by the way. Mm. Oh, you might We're be right. I'm, them. I'm liking these a lot. <laughs> they're they're hitting like everything. <laughs> Crunch, <laughs> spice level. I like that little like tingliness in my mm-hmm. my tongue, the roof of my mouth. Mm. Tip Not your getting dick. Cut. <laughs> Tip my dick. <laughs> to the ends of my toes. <laughs> Not getting my mouth cut up at all. Man, it's a nice burn. Wow. Whew. I like it. It's like the perfect amount of burn for me. Yeah. It's just like right there. I don't I think need it's it spicy. Be. No, no. But like, I don't think a hot sauce. I love it. It's like, well, that kind of hot sauce is spicy, spicy. I'm also it's not the kind of watery. person who like orders the super hot wing. I'm like, not that guy. I like to be like, see what's the middle wing? Go one lower. Yep. That's what I usually Because I'm also over. Ooh. Sauces okay. that are hot for the sake of being hot. Yeah. There's some really good hot sauces that are very hot, but are also very flavorful. But mm-hmm. I find that usually the less hot sauces have a lot more flavor to them. So I tend to try and go that way just because I enjoy them more. If the very hot ones have like a fruit, like a pineapple or like a mango, I can usually mm-hmm. tolerate those a little bit better. Yep. But if it's just like hot, it's like, oh, that's, that's no fun. Yeah, you just some of the I sauces. Need like a little counter. Some of the sauces just exist so that you can say you had a, hot, a sauce that's hot and there's nothing, they don't add anything else to I need your a, dish. I need a counter sweet. Right, it's adding kind. no value to anybody, mm-hmm. um, and I think yeah, like people that love hot sauce too, they they like to just drown their food in it, where they're only tasting the hot sauce. Yeah. I was like, well, why'd you eat the thing at all? Mm-hmm. You could put a hot sauce on anything. I had a super hot like ghost pepper hot sauce, and literally like a dab of it in chili was like the perfect amount, just to give it that just like yeah back like heat in the back of your heat mouth in the back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's the best. That's the way to do it. I do like a backhand heat more than a front end heat, too. Yes. Just in general, not even yeah. just for your food. You know, right. every time it's a backhand heat. Yeah. When I'm sunbathing, I lay face down. Yeah. Back, backhand yep. heat. Backhand. <laughs> your butt's up in the sky. Uh-huh. You got to get that butt first. Backhand first. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not as concerned when heat's coming out the back end as if it's coming out the front end. Then I'm like, oh, then I you need to go see, you see a doctor. Though, you got to protect uh-huh. the hardwood. <laughs> Uh-huh. You gotta make sure yeah, that's, that's right. safe. Yeah. You don't, you don't want you don't that want to heat on the hardwood. Uh-oh. A lot of topical cream you could be used that day. A lot of tropical cream. Ooh. Hey, whatever you whatever works. <laughs> Banana boat. <laughs> so on a scale of popcorn to ten, Andy Moldenhauer, one second. We rate these popcorn to ten because uh why do we do that again? Yeah, I mean I feel like that's forget, a strange scale. Yeah, why, why did we, we ever, decide well, that? Popcorn's scale? usually a one, right? Or oh no, no, no. Zero? Popcorn is a popcorn. Oh right, it's nothing. <laughs> it's, it's lower than zero. <laughs> yeah, how do you? Is, is it you just have strong feelings about popcorn, Andy? I, 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 one can argue. I would <laughs> myself. Not a fan. No. Don't like it. Uh-uh. I don't pass. Understand. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so I would give these on a scale of popcorn to ten, an eight. Woo. Wow, I'm not that surprised. Uh, it's a spicy you chip. 
You you're gonna, they're always yeah, going to score good. up there. If it, if it has spicy or chicken or bacon, it's going to get up there. <laughs> <laughs> super, super good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what I rated it. But Andy Hubert, what would you rate these Ruffles Double Crunch Hot Wings flavored from popcorn to 10? Double Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> you're geared up for something. And I was like, what's about to happen? <laughs> Go take those sound bites, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it got me like a little bit off my track there. I was like, Brad's about to do something, right? He was ready. It was like a little bit anticipatory. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. uh, I would have given these an eight if they had given me chicken flavor, <clears throat> but they didn't. They let me down. I was expecting chicken wings. Mm. Sure. Hot chicken wings. Uh, but they're still delicious. I give them a seven. Okay. It's Brad. Good. Mm. On a scale of popcorn to Ken, how did you feel about these Ruffles Double Crunch hot wing? Before I chicks? give my answer, let me ask you a question. Okay. What am I dipping in this, these in? Blue cheese? Blue cheese dressing? Uh, what am I doing? Yes, what as long doing? as the What am ranch? I dipping these things in? Ranch, ranch or blue cheese? Ranch, blue cheese? Because if it's, it's a hot, wing, hot wing, that's things, that's traditional. Yeah, you meat got with it. Sour cream? Meat with some celery? Sour cream. I think a French onion could work with these, but I don't, I don't know. know if it's the the right way to go. I don't know if you do that. I don't know. Dip them in sour cream. But I think yeah, I think you're right. A, a blue cheese dressing or a ranch dressing is the way to go. Nice. I would skip the ranch. I would give these a seven. I like right. the seven wow. score. Eight point seven. Yeah, not too bad. It's pretty high. I think it's a, yeah. it's a low score for a spicy chip. I don't know. That seems high. That seems just high. Things don't usually get that high. Hmm. Eights are rare. It's pretty rare. They're like rainbows. Oh, well, yeah. But, you know? These almost have like a Flamin' Hot Cheeto type flavor to they them. kind of they, almost do. Did we have close. Flamin' Ruffles? I think we may have. There are, I think, hey, Flamin' Ruffles. I think Ruffles. we, I think we had them on I don't podcast. know if we've had them on the show. If they did, I'm sure they're a 9.9 or I'm something. I'm pretty sure they're really high, yeah. And that would have had the little Flame logo. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. Not the Cheeto. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good job. I like, man, Ruffles is like a chip company I just don't think about. You know, right. I only think about aisle. them in the concept of dip because that was always like whenever the hockey game was at my house this week or something, my parents' house uh-huh. you know, back in the day. But yeah, we'd always have regular Lay's chips. <laughs> mm. but then you always had Ruffles with the dip. Ooh, that was just standard. And so it's like it's like that nostalgic thing for me too. Every time I ever, if I ever have dip, gotta have Ruffles with them. Doesn't work otherwise. And I feel like Ruffles like. Pave the way for those chips to have their own version of a ruffle too. Like, yeah, we need to compete with ruffles because they're true. just destroying us. Yeah, let's like, get the wavy out there. Everyone realized. Let's they get the have, ridges out there. Everyone realized that they they could step Small up the dip game. They gotta step up the dip game, and all the other chip manufacturers were like scrambling to catch up. Mm-hmm. What's this? This chip only have three ridges on it. What is this? <laughs> it needs seven ridges. <laughs> we got our wavy ones, sir. The wavy ones. Ridges, not waves. You damn you. <laughs> This isn't the ocean! (laughs) (laughs) What a good show. And he loves chickens. Ow. What a good crunch. Oh, no, your teeth broke. Oh, your brand new tooth. Oh, my teeth. (laughs) Oh. Too too much crunch. (laughs) We didn't actually talk about the crunch factor. I mean, it doesn't seem like that much crunchier. No, not really. No. It just seemed like... It seemed like wider, we gotta get wider ridges. Is, is it a gimmick? Like, like, I need that extra crunch. <laughs> is it, no, you know what it is? It's them saying it's a double-sized bag. Oh. They're like, it's twice as thick. I don't believe them. Wow. We, wow. Get, we give and I'm we take ruffles. I'm them out. We give and we take ruffles. <laughs> we gave you a high score. Now we're going to take it down. <laughs> Send me the white paper ruffles. <laughs> Prove to me. <laughs> we could even buy some regular ruffles and double crunch and compare them. Do a little bit. People, it's gonna are, be like. Are you double... claiming that these are a one and a half? Well, crunch? we're gonna have to go back to our science. Is this a double stuffed lab? Oreo situation this, where they proved that it was double? actually like one point six stuffed? I'm gonna get the scale out. We we're go gonna to get lab. two similar shaped ruffles and we're gonna weigh them. It's a, it's gonna chip off. We're gonna do a chip off <laughs> for science. <laughs> science. <laughs>